What's up everyone, it's Nerp here, and welcome to Star Citizen. Uh, you may or may not have heard of this game, it is a game in alpha, it's a space simulator, there's combat, there's exploration, there's tons of stuff you can do, um, something called the Persistent Universe, a MMO aspect of the game is on the horizon. And this is a game developed by Cloud Imperium Games with Chris Roberts. And as you can see, it is gorgeous. So, my friends, uh, a couple of my friends play this game, and they uh, convinced me to try it out. This is actually my first time logging in, uh, and this is exactly where it took me. So, I don't really know a whole lot about this game. It seems really complicated and really complex, but I want to learn because I want to get into a new up-and-coming game with a bright future. So if you want to uh, get it, you're going to have to buy a ship package with the game. Um, so this game started being crowdfunded, and to get the game you have to buy a ship ship costs range from thirty dollars to like fifteen thousand dollars so some people are putting some big bucks on this game i got this ship um it's the 45 dollar mustang alpha obviously there's different ships they're each different and they might change how your character will what kind of character you'll be what you'll do in the game stuff like that but again i don't really know what you're supposed to do in this game really i just started uh i you should search on YouTube, what is Star Citizen, and watch the TGN video. I watched that. Uh, it taught me a lot about it, but I still am in the dark on almost everything in this game. So, yeah. I guess we'll learn together. All I know is it spawns me in here, and I am just walking around with WASD. If you hold down left shift, you sprint. And then I, if you press space, you jump, and that's all I know. So I guess I'll just walk around here quickly. So there's stuff here. I guess this is my hangar, my base. That's my ship. That's my Mustang Alpha. Um, to use stuff, you press F. And this looks like some equipment. Can I put it on? Click use again. I guess they don't want me to put on the equipment. <laughs> Basically, uh, I'm supposed to... There's first person a part of playing this game, and there's also flying in ships and stuff like that. So we'll figure this all out as we go along. Some kind of elevator here. I'm just running around right now aimlessly. Don't know really where I'm going. Man, this looks gorgeous. Look at this uh, game. I'm getting great frame rate, too. I guess it was worth it to, buy the, to build this computer. Where are we? Some upper deck kind of thing? Can we die? Can we jump over? I don't really want to try that. Maybe I will. I heard the respawning stuff in this game is pretty complicated as well. Let's go down to the ship. See what we can do. I guess playing mostly just scrolls in Minecraft the past three years makes this game's graphics seem godly in comparison. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is our Mustang Alpha. Can we get into it? Can we fly this thing? Doesn't look like I can jump on here. Oh, that's at the back of the ship. That's not where you pilot it. Uh, how do we go in? Yes, yeah, so this game's still in alpha. I'm not sure what you can really do right now. I think there's a lot of multiplayer stuff you can do. I'm not sure if the single player campaign called Squadron 42 is out yet. Uh, all I know is people are waiting for the Persistent Universe to come out. And people are getting their ships and all this. Oh, use. Okay. Wait, I'm stuck. Where'd it go? I'm 
clicking use. Why is it not doing anything? There we go. Use. Well, that's not doing anything. Uh, Alright, here, here. This is how we get in the ship. Okay. Climb up the hidden little ladder thing. And I think you can walk around the ships. Uh, well, actually, this looks like there's not much space in here. Yeah, I have this one little platform. Uh, get in the cockpit, I guess. Okay. How do we fly this? Oh, that was weird. Doesn't look like we can do anything right now. Um, I think we have to go to the arena commander to start doing stuff. Uh, this is how you can start actually playing the game. So, spectrum match. Fly a custom mission with your friends or with thousands of potential friends and foes connected via a CEDO com relay. I don't think I'm ready for any matches. Hone your skills versus cutting edge drone programs. I don't really have skills to hone. And basic flight training. Report for flight training in its original systems training module. Uh, this is probably what I'm supposed to do. I guess it's the tutorial. Takeoff, basic maneuvers, basic combat, landing, advanced maneuvers, advanced combat. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to do all this. Basic flight training. Report to veteran flight instructor Lieutenant Lucas Gilly Bramsko for basic flight training in this original systems training module. Alright, let's try it. Hey there, hustle on over. Okay, so this is a tutorial. So just WSD to walk. And let me know if the sound is right, guys. Uh. I have the audio at 25 because my sound recording everything is all just set up for scrolls so I have to make sure like it's good with my voice so it looks like we're in some kind of bigger hangar not like my hangar place well that's a ship that just came out of the scene let's go hold on hold on lieutenant Gilly so I'm in comes out of spacesuit right now so I guess there's no oxygen in here is that gonna leave? Is that gonna land? Boy, this is awesome. Still waiting. Seems like a really epic game. Alright, can you just shut up, Lieutenant? Alright. I'm Lucas Baramsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're gonna set you up in the ship on the landing pad to your right. Hustle over, let's get going. Sounds good, Lieutenant. Move it, move it, move it! Well, that's cool, when you're sprinting, it shows on the on the helmet glass your breath. You're out of breath. Yep, so you press F to do use things. Wow, this is a pretty uh, beautiful game, an alpha. Alright, so I'm in the cockpit. Now, am I going to get to fly this thing now? Alright, first things first. Take a look around your cockpit and familiarize yourself with the layout. It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. That's true. Uh, left control and tab to look around the cockpit. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Look over at me and watch what I do. I look systems, over. check. Oh, there Engines, we go. check. Tower, permission for launch. Copy that tower. All right. First, I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. That one. Okay. 
Now that I'm clear, I can straight forward onto the taxiway. So we're gonna have to do this, I guess. To get out of here. So I guess now the left side of my screen is like a HUD. With the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. Is he gonna go through the ceiling? Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. Okay, goodbye, Lieutenant. Uh, hopefully I don't blow myself up as I do this. I have a feeling I'm going to hit something. My turn? That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be your turn. Alright. You cleared out. It's my turn. Can I get it? How do I do it? You didn't show me the controls. Okay. Yes, I know that. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Okay, I better read this stuff. When taking off from a governed landing zone, you should request permission by pressing button 3. I guess that's a scroll wheel. And if you take off without permission, you may incur penalties. Okay. Uh, manual takeoff and automatic takeoff. But right now I'm doing manual, got it. So I have to press the middle mouse to get access to, t to take off. Okay, I'm clear for launch. Strafing. R and F go up and down. Q and E go left and right. That's weird. I guess they're close to WSD. Straight forward, control W, shift back, control F. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So let's start by moving up a little bit. Nice. You're clear of the path. Okay, now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. Don't align yourself with the middle of the doors. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. Okay. Um, I'll go a little bit higher. It's pretty sensitive, so you have to do it slowly. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go to the left. So, Q. Alright, I think I'm positioned well. Now I do control W to move forward a little bit. You're lined up. Nice. That was some um, pretty impressive lining up there. Now how do I go up again? We got R. Looks like we survived. Alignment's looking solid. Watch it, Rookie. Oh. Oh god. That's a good line, pilot. Did I hit something? Careful. These ships are cheap. Oh god. Did I not wait for the roof to open? Hopefully I didn't damage anything. Yeah, those red things look like things are damaged. Uh I guess you gotta be careful in this game. Great job. I haven't seen many pull one off on the first try. Well, I did hit the ceiling. Use it to target me. So I guess that's him. Uh, press Y to target. Okay. So. Oh. So why? Good. When pursuing a target, you'll want to keep your speed as close to theirs as possible. Give it a shot. Make sure I've targeted and hit match speed. M. Okay. Before I do that, I'm just going to check this again because I feel like the music's really loud right now. I'm going to lower everything to 20. Okay. Because I'd really hate to be done recording this and then seeing that the game sound is way too loud. So, M, Great. and I match the speed. On. Okay, so I'm not clicking anything right now, so it's automatically moving me. So I guess it's going to have me follow Lieutenant Gilly. Remember. This is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. Oh. But you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. Okay, so I have to follow him with my mouse, but it's going to accelerate and decelerate automatically. That's not too bad. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? Yeah, she is gorgeous, like everything else in this game. Wow. Look at just, like, the detail in space. Moving on. Oh, I don't want to go on the asteroid field. I'm 
Not Han Solo. I'm not sure if I can maneuver the asteroid field. <laughs> so much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go. A and D. Okay. So let's roll to the right. Whoa. Did I do it? Roll to the left. Nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Oh god. To increase the power to the main thrusters, you can throttle up by holding W. Throttling down will reduce the power of the main thrust to the main thrusters, and your maneuvering thrusters will fight the momentum of the ship to thro slow it down. You can also quickly toggle between 0 and 100% throttle by pressing backspace or... I think double tap S and double tap W will be easier. Okay, so double tap W to like go. Check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its Percent. weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have there to. There is. So I guess I have to go forward. Throttle up. So it's only a thousand meters away now. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. C. Okay, now look at the top right of Slow your down. hut. You should see the target displayed. This will show real-time damage, shield status, and a few other things. I don't know what those Shields stand for. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Shields. Shields protect the hull of the ship from damage. They absorb energy, but then they go down for a short time. Monitor the status. Okay, I'm gonna forget all of this. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. So left click is ballistic weapons, right click is energy weapons. I don't know the difference of that. I guess we'll find out. And let's see. Good shot. See a shield weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. Now you have a target. Let's You'll have it. extra aim ridicules. Those are predicted impact Is points. gonna overheat? Hips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple oh. hits with varying lag. I almost hit that. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The computer's trying to compensate for the varying speeds between your ballistic and energy projectiles. Okay, I don't know what that means. Now, where is the... Your weapons are getting hot. Okay, so it does overheat. Firing control bursts. Or I should fire my other weapon, my overheat. energy. There you go. Keep on the pressure. Good hit. Keep firing. Is this gonna go down? It shows it down. Finish it off with a missile. Where is it? Missiles. Press scroll wheel to acquire a lock on and then again to shoot it okay missile locking sensors are on the nose so keep your target in front of you long enough to lock Where's on it? i hear this launch launch you have a lock fire firing there we go that's a hold it down come on hopefully it blows up oh god what did i just hit good kill on me rookie no i killed it Nice, killed it. Alright, so far so good. I need to learn how to fly this better though. Kind of out of whack. Alright, I guess I have to follow. Me, let's go. Okay. Right, now I'm in autopilot, I think. Let's move on. Uh oh. Looks like he had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. Come on, it's only behind me. Is that a drone? He's got lock. Missiles incoming. That hit took out your weapons. You'll have to hold out till they come back. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. When missiles locked on your ship, press C. And press X to Last missile was heat seeking, so equip your flares. Helpful tip, don't boost after dropping one. Boosted thrusters are much hotter than a flare. Flares have is a this short him or a bad guy? Quick to fire them. Another pro tip, 
Countermeasures are fired backwards, so never fly the missile head on. Oh, that's not, Launch that's... countermeasure and expect it to work. What the hell's wrong with you? He's got locked. Missile's incoming. I see. All right, I evaded the missile. Do I have to shoot Good. this thing? You got your guns back. Oh, I got that. Need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decoupled mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. Caps lock, okay. It's a great way to dissuade your pursuer, but make sure you check your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. Ease up. Your weapons are getting hot. Oh, it just got hit. You're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. I don't know how to do that. He's got sure. locked. Missiles incoming. Oh, I better use Z. Mercy. Awesome. Alright, there he is. Oh, he's pretty far away. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Was I hit? I thought I pressed something. Oh god. We're gonna hit him, aren't I? but nothing's happening. This is hard to maneuver. Why is this screen getting all blurry? Am I hit? Am I, like, damaged? Oh. Where is our foe? There he is. Warning collision alert. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. I'm gonna blow this thing up. Should I throw, do like a missile at him? Alright, I think I'm like... It's got hitting. locked. Missile's incoming. Let me see if I can. I can't go with the middle mouse button. When is this gonna be destroyed? It's already seen it. Oh god, I'm in the asteroid field. Watch it, rookie. Oh god. I am in an asteroid field. These ships are cheap. I've seen what happened in Star Wars. You're taking a lot of hull damage. Try to keep a shield between you and your enemy. Okay. When can I destroy this thing? Man, I can imagine just like an like a He's got lock. Missiles incoming. Missile rated, yes. Can I blow this thing up? Got your missiles back. Take it out. Yes. Okay, where the heck is it? Good kill. We're heading back to the landing pad to oh, restock awesome. and refuel for the final part of your I trip. did it. Me, yes, rookie. I did it. Alright, now I have to get back to the landing pad. Where is he? I have to press Y to find him. Alright. And let me on you, kid. speed up. No, I don't want to speed up. It's autopiloting. All right, I successfully uh, killed him. Then that was pretty tough with the missile baiting. Let me guess, you're an arena commander fan. What are you talking about, Gilly, Lieutenant Gilly? So that is what do you call that again? The spire. A lot of things I have to learn in this game. Lots of things. Looks like my ship is pretty damaged. 
I think the red spots on the HUD in the top left are like damage spots. Because I hit some asteroids. I also uh, think a missile hit me when I didn't put up the counter or whatever. This should be close enough. Alright, uh, landing. To target a ship's landing system on and off, press N. Once engaged, any available landing zones within radar range will display as radar contacts with the nearest automatically be becoming focused. Okay, so you can't fire unlock missiles when you're landing. Okay. So, should I press N? Or let me orientate myself. Once landing mode's active, your HUD's gonna swap out your combat systems for landing specific functionality. You can cycle through available landing pads, the same as cycling through targets. Press Y or oh, alright. Let's do the nearest Once one. Once you've targeted the landing pad, request permission to land. Button three. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. So each time I press Y. So that's the only one I can do, right? Yeah, let's just do this one. So I have to press button three. Your radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic ETL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. Okay, so I'll begin a menu to automate the landing procedure, engage the automated mode with M and fly over to the landing zone. Okay, I'm. I don't think I should master manual landing, manual landing just yet. I'm, I'm a beginner. Let's just do this automatically. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad, and keep your eye on your pitch and roll. All right, this is automated, I think. Now where am I going? No, am I supposed to go over there? Wait, where am I going? Automated. Do I have to like? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm crashed. Watch it, rookie. How do I get out of here? Uh, how do I like go back? Okay, there we go. I click caps lock. Now, where the heck is the landing place? I lost it. Um, it looks like oh, it shows on the HUD. All right, we have to go there. So let's see. All right, now I think we can do this. Oh, Careful. oh my God! Let's go far away from here and then redo this. Okay, turn around, and I want to do manual landing. It's deploying. Is it deployed? All right, it's deployed. Now. No, I don't want to retract. Okay, so now we can land. So now we click N. No, I want to do automatic. So is it going to do it for me or not? Should I move forward? I can't. When I move forward... How do I land this thing? Am I missing something? What's here? This is Gilly? Okay, uh... How do we do this? Try this again. Let's... How do I move slowly? Where's our landing? Oh, that's, that's our landing spot, right? That's where we're going to try to land. No, that's not our landing spot, is it? Ugh. This is giving me problems. I don't want to hit you. Alright, we're going to go over there. That's where we have to go. No, where do we have to go? M. M. Uh, 
Alright, I'm just gonna try to land right here. We're doing some manual landing. Alright. Our hour. I was trying to land, Gilly. <laughs> Alright, how do I lower? Do I even have my landing gear out or not out? Is this even a landing spot? It looks like a landing spot. M. N. Oh, there we go. I, it's N. Okay. It's automated, but now what do I do? Am I, am I at the right place? Okay. We have to go up there. If it's automated, why isn't it doing it automatically? Okay, so it is up there. All right, let's. We're we doing this manually. So let's go forward by holding Control W. This will strafe. All right, let's go. Are we doing a manual land? Am I doing this wrong? I think I all right. I think I did this. I think I finally fixed this. So, yes, awesome. Not bad. Finally. Get the hang of it. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship setup. Ship pane. Pressing home will allow you to interact with the HUD by bringing up a cursor, allowing you to select specific components. Okay. So, the OVR page. Pain gives you a general overview for the weapons, the power. I'll read all this stuff soon. The shield. In there, you'll see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. Now, wouldn't mess around with them during training. We're done. Can I get out of this thing in space? Let's get back out there. Take off when you're ready. Well, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. I don't know what else the training is going to have. 